morning. I thought I would vlog a little bit today because today's actually my first weigh-in. If you didn't know, I'm doing WW, which was Weight Watchers. And yeah, today is my first weekly weigh-in. I think I've lost about three pounds. I'm hoping for more because I've done really well this week, but I also... I'm on my period right now. I gain weight on my period and then once it's gone, I lose all the weight that I gained. It's just like water weight and stuff. So I feel like that's kind of scuppered my big old loss, but then maybe next week it will be a bigger loss because of that. But yeah, let's go because I'm late. <laughs> I am back from my weigh-in now with good news. I'm so happy because as I said, it's my time of the month. <laughs> Someone commented on my last video. I swear it's your time of the month every time I watch you. And you know what? I do tend to like bulk film video and it always seems to be around my time of the month. Anyway, it is my time of the month, did I tell you that? And I normally put on weight. I don't think I've ever, ever lost even a pound when I'm on my period. I can put on like seven pounds with just eating pure shit. So the fact that I've actually lost weight this month is making me honestly the happiest person in the world because that has taken some willpower on my behalf. Let me tell you, I wanted takeaways like four days this week and I didn't get them. I made my own food and I'm honestly really proud of that. So I have lost four pounds this week, which I'm honestly so chuffed with. I'm so happy. If I lost that every week, I would be at my target quite soon. So I do have 51 pounds to lose, which is now 47 to be like purely in my healthy, healthy range. But I'd say I want to lose about 30 to just get in my healthy range, if that makes sense. Yeah, if I carry on losing four a week, I'll be there pretty quick. And I'm honestly so happy because I really have tried this week. I've cooked lots of meals, which I never do. I always just order takeout. So, yay, four pounds for me. Speaking of food, I can now eat because I didn't want to eat before my weigh-in. So I think I'm just going to make an omelette. Got my omelette. This has got bacon, onions, and peas in, and I've got a little bit of reduced salt and sugar ketchup on top. Look how cute this is. So I bought this. I think I got it on Amazon. It's just a chalkboard. And I thought that I would pop this into my kitchen to remind myself how far I've come. So obviously it's only week one, but I'm gonna hopefully add to this every single week. The bottom number will go down. Yeah, I just really like this. That's gonna inspire me a lot to stay on track. So I'm gonna pop this in my kitchen. Also, right now I'm just waiting for a plumber to come round because my kitchen sink is blocked. I don't know what's blocked it. I haven't actually put anything down it. When I turned my dishwasher on the other day, my sink water started rising and it just won't go down. So I've called a plumber and he is coming in the next hour. So I'm just waiting for that. And then I've got a food shop coming. I will do a food haul later on. It's so sunny today. I can't actually get over it. When I went out earlier, I was like sweating so hot. But yeah, if I fill my sink up, it just won't go down. And none of the gross like food bits are going down. They're just resting against the side because my plug won't drain. So that's a fun time. <laughs> I've used my plunger. I've used bicarbonate of soda and vinegar. Just nothing will clear it. We're waiting for the plumber. I've also got this candle burning. My brother bought me this for Christmas and it is Ivy Blue Spruce from Yankee Candle and it just smells so fresh and nice. I thought I'd put this on because obviously I just made an omelette so it kind of smelled like eggs. <laughs> I get really paranoid when people come to my flat that it's gonna smell and I know it doesn't because I can smell obviously from the outside like when I walk in so I can tell that it doesn't smell but I always want people to walk in and be like oh my god it smells so nice in here. So I've got the candle burning in there and then over there on my shelves the light I've got my diffuser and that's got sweet orange scent in it and they tie in really nicely. It kind of smells Christmassy without the cinnamon right now. While I'm waiting for the plumber to get here, I'm actually just about to film a little intro for a What I Eat video, which is gonna be going up in a couple of videos time. I've actually got, I think, six videos that are half filmed. So like, I can't upload any of them. I'm aiming to finish off two of them tomorrow. And if I do the intro today, then I've finished another one off so I can actually like upload them. But it's been so annoying because I just, I have all the thumbnails ready. I have all the videos edited. They just need like intros or little bits here and there. So I thought I could kill some time and just do the intro, even though I've got no makeup on. Oh my God, the plumber's just arrived. 
Let me move my camera so it doesn't look like a film porn. <laughs> So the plumber's just left, my tap is working, which is amazing. He was so nice, we were just having a long chat about TV shows because he saw that I had paused the Umbrella Academy on my telly because I was watching that just like to pass the time until he got here. So we were just talking about shows that he watches and stuff because he's watching the same thing. But now I'm just making lunch. This is kind of turning into a what I eat in a day. I don't mean it to, but I'm literally just having corn nuggets. You can see back there. I'm having nine, which are eight points because I have no food in my flat right now. I'm waiting for my food order, but that doesn't come for another hour. So I'm hungry. Also, oh my god, I felt so sick after my omelette. Like, I only ate half of it. I felt so sick, which makes complete sense because when I did my intolerance test, eggs came up like really high that I'm intolerant to. <laughs> Love that I can eat this while I'm on a diet. Is this not the best lunch ever? Okay, I've got a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna have to show you in two parts. Starting off here, I've got some just roll light puff pastry to make some sort of chicken and leek pie. Spring onions, grapes, spinach, lettuce. I've got some plain Alpro yogurt, which I love. This to me tastes like the yogurt in Muller Corners. You know, like the strawberry or blueberry ones with just like plain yogurt? That's what it tastes like. I've got 24 crispy corn nuggets. I thought this was a small bag of 12, so I actually got three bags of them. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to fit them in my freezer. But if you didn't know, six of these is five points on Weight Watchers, which is amazing. So you can have like chicken nuggets and chips for tea if you want them. I got some McCain Smiles. Kings Mill Thins. I also got some hoisin sauce. This is what I put on my salmon. It is seven points for a quarter of the jar, which is how much I use on one piece. So it is a lot, but I mean, if you just have veg with the salmon, then it's not really that much for a meal. Then I got some milk roll because one piece of this is one point. So that's so good. For meat, I got salmon, beef and sausages just to keep them in the freezer if I ever want a sausage sandwich. I think one sausage is two points. So I have like two sausages in some milk roll. Yum, yum, yum. Then I got a roast chicken because I want to make chicken stew. I got some green beans for the freezer, some almond milk, leeks and a million bags of celery. This is a little hint for a video I'm doing. But yeah, more frigging corn nuggets. <laughs> On to the second round, I got onions, oranges, which I'm so excited to eat, carrots, a lemon. I got some chives. I'm really obsessed with chives right now. I'll put them on everything. Some bananas. I got some snacker jacks. I really stocked up on the treats because places near me don't have them. Nowhere has these hula hoop puffs and these are really good on Weight Watchers. They're only two points a bag. So I stocked up on them. Ready salted are my favourite and then I thought I would try this flavour. Then I got some apples and some potatoes and that is everything I got. No idea how I'm going to fit all this celery in my fridge because my fridge is looking like like that right now so that's gonna be a fun time I think I'm gonna have to empty this section here I'll update you anyway when it's done I've just sorted my freezer boxes out so I thought I would show you what is in my freezer is this the most boring segment of a vlog ever so I've got some homemade bolognese in these packets and a beef stew I've then got these gyozas from itsu which is so nice and they're actually pretty low in points as well then just got a mini pizza if I ever fancy pizza then I've got one I've got my corn nuggets all on top of each other there some McCain smiles and some Yorkshire puddings. And then underneath this, I've just got a cottage pie and fish and parsley sauce from m and They're not that bad on points, so I thought I would keep those. Then in this section, these are all homemade bolognese. <laughs> I went through a phase of just making so much bolognese and it was like all I was eating. And it's honestly quite healthy. All it's got is vegetables and beef. Just got some frozen blueberries, some green beans, and underneath here, I've just got more beef stew. And then in this section, this is like my meat section, I've just got some bacon medallions, some salmon, just rolled pastry, my sausages. If you're gluten free and you're doing Weight Watchers, these are only three points each, which is amazing. I just scanned them on the barcode app thing and it just came up as three for one, which is so good. So I've just got that in there. And then I've got these, which are actually homemade cookie dough, which I can defrost and then make a cookie whenever I want one, which is actually such a sick idea by me because sometimes 
all you want is a cookie and you don't have one so I just defrost one and cook it so those are my little freezer sections I'm so happy that they're organized now because it was such a mess before okay so I've managed to sort it out by putting all of my greens in there I've just got my meat at the bottom and then this little section which is like sweet stuff got a little pot of goodies these were from home sense by the way then I've got my carrots, spring onions, onion, and some random bits there, some fruit on there, some random bits there. Woo! Good evening, everybody. I had a little bit of a dramatic afternoon because when the plumber came, I opened my window a little bit in my bedroom to just let some air in because my bedroom smelled really weird. So anyways, I opened the window literally like that much. And then two hours later, after the plumber had gone, I went in the room and I saw all these like black dots all over the wall and all over my windows. And I was like, what the heck is that? Went closer and it turns out it was literally like a hundred friggin' ladybirds all over my windows. So my windows are like this, but in the other room, literally all over my windows and above them up here. I was trying to sort them out for ages and then I totally forgot that I was actually meant to be vlogging. So I'm back now. I've just remembered that I actually was vlogging today after that palaver, but I am actually about to go to bed, which is kind of mental because it's just turned eight o'clock, but I'm so tired today. I just feel so tired. <laughs> Tomorrow I've got two videos to film and I want to go on a walk in the morning. I've got chicken stew to make. I've got a lot of videos to edit, like finish editing, and I've also got to wash my hair. So I thought if I just go to bed now while I'm really tired, then I can get up at like six or 7 a.m. and get my day started then, which is kind of mental because it's a Sunday, but I actually really like being up early on a Sunday before everybody else is. It's so nice to go on a walk in Brighton at like seven or 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning. It's so empty, like it feels like a ghost town, but it's so nice. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm sorry if this vlog's been a little bit boring. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm still chuffed with my four pound loss. Let me know, by the way, if you do Weight Watchers, WW, you if you have a specific instagram food account that you don't mind sharing please leave it in the comments below because i've got one and i like to follow other people on that but i don't accept followers from people that i don't know so if you do find it and you send a request i'm sorry but i probably won't accept it because it's like private for me and my friends and stuff but yeah if you guys are okay with sharing it and you have a specific ww1 please leave it below i would like to follow it and give this vlog a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i will see you on Wednesday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>